Hey everyone, this is Darren Marlia at SDM Software. And I wanted to take a, a brief moment here in this video to show what I described in a recent blog posting around how you can use our Group Policy Compliance Manager product to be able to answer that question when the boss comes knocking, looking for uh, whether or not a particular security hardening setting has been deployed successfully across your environment. Uh, it could be one setting, it could be many settings, but the, the mechanism for doing it in Group Policy Compliance Manager, our, our product for collecting this kind of information, is pretty straightforward. So in my blog post, I gave the example of this security setting called Interactive Logon, number of previous logons to cache. So this is basically the cached credential setting that is set to 10 logons by default. And um, I've gone ahead and created a GPO in my domain hierarchy. If I bring up the GPMC here, you can see this. Up at the domain level, I've got this domain-wide security settings GPO. And it's enforcing that policy on interactive logons at seven logons. Now, my boss comes to me and he says, well, I want you to show me or prove to me that it's being received by all machines. How are you going to do that? You know, native tools, obviously, you'd, you'd come into group policy results, and you'd have to run an RSOP report for every machine in your domain to realistically get this data. Or you could use PowerShell, as I pointed out in my blog post, and parse through XML. Uh, but it's not trivial. You need to know what you're looking for, and it's not very generalizable. In other words, you have to sort of code for every different kind of setting that you're interested in because the, the XML representation is not um, at all explicit in terms of the setting you're, you're, you're dealing with. But we do have a PowerShell module with the Group Policy Compliance Manager. And if I do a quick get command on the PowerShell module, it's called STMGPCM, you'll see that there's a set of PowerShell commandlets. And the one that we're going to focus on for this d video demo is compare STM setting baseline. Now, compare STM setting baseline lets me feed a particular setting and setting value to the commandlet and tell it to go out across the machines that I've collected data against in the Group Policy Compliance Manager. So Group Policy Compliance Manager essentially has the ability to go out and collect settings data across your environment, across all of your machines. It's either agentless or agent-based. And with the compare SDM setting baseline commandlet, I can actually feed it the setting path. Here's my cached logons setting path. The setting value that I'm interested in comparing against, in this case, my seven logons. In, in this parameter here, I'm just telling it that I want to use my SQL Server repository. Other, otherwise, it assumes a um, local repository. And the dash same parameter just tells it to include machines that have the setting equal to the desired setting. If I leave this parameter out, it just shows me the differences, but I want to include that. And then what I've done here is I've included a pipe to out grid view, which, which returns the results in a nice graphical grid view, as you'll see in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And now what you're seeing is the query is populating the data from my environment based on the data that was collected in Group Policy Compliance Manager. So I've got the setting paths. I've got the computer names, the DNs, the winning GPO in the case where the setting actually exists. And over here on the far right, I have this diff column that tells me whether the setting is the same or different or missing. So settings that are the same are in compliance. Those are the ones I don't have to worry about. But I've got this whole slew of machines here where the setting is completely missing. And then two machines here where the setting is actually set to 10 logons. And it tells me what GPO is responsible for delivering that. And actually, if I go, I can look at the OU, the DN, and I can see that this is in the Workstations OU under the VM OU. So if I come down here, I'll actually, um, actually, sorry, I'll go into GPMC is what I wanted to do, and come down to the VM Workstations OU. And now I see that what I have here is a block inheritance flag set on this Workstations OU that's preventing that 
domain linked setting from getting to me. So this local security settings GPO is actually setting the interactive log on at 10 and I can see that right here. So I'm able to go in there and remedy that so that I know that all of my systems are in compliance. So that's just a quick example of using the PowerShell module for Group Policy Compliance Manager to quickly check security compliance for key hardening settings. Thanks very much for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this. You can get a trial version of Group Policy Compliance Manager on our website. It includes everything you need to get up and running and start querying your systems and getting group policy settings data. Thank you.